Plus, cleanup continues from last night's flooding. Rip currents from Ernesto are still a concern. In fact, the storm regained hurricane strength in the Atlantic is now a Category 1 hurricane. And that's why New York City beaches right now remain closed today. The closure includes all Brooklyn beaches, Rockaway beaches, Reese Beach, swimming and wading are not permitted. You know, you get a window of opportunity to go to a beach, and, and Mother Nature says, oh, no, you won't. You know, yeah, Mother Nature's happening. been doing a lot of talking this summer, has she not? Yeah, she's. We're listening. We, we got to listen yeah. with these kind of conditions, right? The, the images that our reporters are showing mm -hmm. are just mind-boggling. And then you look at the numbers yeah. and think, yeah, that's the power of water, right? When you're seeing 5, 10 inches of rainfall in a short amount of time, it has the power to wash away roads and, unfortunately, homes. We saw that last night and such a relief that right now things are mostly dry, but we're already starting to see the radar come back to life. It's not what you want to hear when so many communities are still trying to clean up after last night. Temperatures across the five boroughs just Generally in the 80s, we're at 82 for Coney Island, 83 in Gravesend, 80 in the East Village, mid 70s up in the Bronx at Fordham. We're at 82 in Newark, 79 down the shore for Belmar, 81 for Islip. It's really humid, upper 60s, low 70s. Still a lot of moisture out there. You can feel it as you step outside, and you can see it for parts of our northern suburbs as some of these spotty showers start to redevelop, as expected, associated with the front that swings through tonight. Port Jervis getting a downpour right now over through Goshen, getting some light rain. It looks like a pocket of rain near Accord, and then further south, a port part in Morris County ceiling, seeing some rain this morning. They also had some significant flooding yesterday, but where the flood warning continues is Suffolk County here and then parts of northern Fairfield County, and those were definitely the two spots, Fairfield and Suffolk, that saw the heaviest rain last night, and the showers continued this morning for Suffolk County. Radar indicated rainfall totals between 8 inches and 12 inches. We've had confirmed rain, radar, uh, confirmed rain totals from National Weather Service up to about 10 inches in those areas, and hearing that we have another round of scattered thunderstorm activity tonight storms that are capable of producing more flooding with drenching downpours it's just not great news but we're watching this front and that's what's bringing our rain tonight uh david mentioned it ernesto back to a category one hurricane again this is five or six hundred miles offshore but still sending us the rough surf and the rip current risk for atlantic facing beaches so that's down the jersey shore it's the south shore of long island here and weighs four to seven feet not only is that rough water and dangerous for swimming but also can contribute to coastal erosion coastal flood advisories for southern nassau and down the jersey shore as we move toward high tide Time. And then we have the severe risk, the entire area under a level one risk for severe weather with our primary concern, of course, being flooding. When we look at the flood risk, the majority of us are under a level one risk, but portions of Fairfield under a level two risk for flash flooding again tonight because of the thunderstorms that redevelop. Looking at future casts, mostly dry for the next couple of hours, but by three or four o'clock, we're watching that broken line of scattered thunderstorm activity move through. This moves quicker than last night's storms, and that should be the key. Last night, the storm sat over one location in trained and just dumped inches of rain. Tonight's storms should move, but when you're adding on rain to already flooded areas, any little bit of rain causes an issue. Also, they could produce some damaging wind gusts. The rain should move on by the time the sun rises tomorrow morning, and then the dry air finally kicks in, and we're clearing out the cloud cover. Tomorrow gets better and better throughout the day, but today it does get a little worse as the thunderstorm chances redevelop late afternoon, early evening. Until then, it is warm and humid, low 80s under a mix of sun and clouds. Again, spotty thunderstorms tonight, and then by sunrise tomorrow morning, we should dry out. The rest of the seven-day forecast is spectacular. Tomorrow, Wednesday, actually might be a little cool with highs in the low 70s, but we'll take it because it comes with sunshine. Yeah. But we got to watch those storms tonight with the threat right. for flooding. Yeah, okay. we'll have to look forward to on the other end of it. Yes. Oh, thanks a lot. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up, frightening kidnapping attempts. The latest on two cases of it in the same community. How good Samaritan stopped them? And funeral services for a New York City fire marshal who died in the line of duty. Join ABC7 for Brooklyn's biggest summer party, the Bricks Celebrate Brooklyn Festival. Drop the beat all summer long at the Lidlhorn Band Shell in Prospect Park. Don't miss this week's live performances. Get the full schedule at brickartsmedia.org or abc7inline.com.